Cat Quest 2, ladies and gentlemen, is just awesome. And if you don't like these kind of silly cat jokes, then this game isn't for you. Hey everyone, this is Dyrum, and today I want to talk a bit about Cat Quest 2. Believe it or not, but this was one of the games I was genuinely looking forward to playing when I learned it was in the making. I am not kidding, I requested the review key like two months ago and was really excited I got one, so thanks to the devs for that. I played Cat Quest, the original game developed by the Gentle Bros and I felt it was such a breath of fresh air. I loved every minute of its silly jokes, the combat, the questline, the amazing artwork, the beautiful music. It was an absolute joy to play and I did, I played it quite a bit, finished the campaign and I realized how few games like these still exist. It reminded me a lot of old console games where 2D adventure games were commonplace, games like the original Secret of Mana, which I thought was amazing. Cat Quest took me back to that era, to a time where games were much more simple but still very enjoyable. And don't get me wrong here, I've played the entire campaign of Gears 5 and loved every minute of it and it shows how far gaming has come, but on the other side a certain a certain amount of simplicity and sense of humor goes a long way as well, which is what Cat Quest proved. It was overall just a very enjoyable game and currently its successor Cat Quest 2 has released. If you're interested in more game reviews or streams of indie titles, be sure to subscribe, it really helps. So I will make this review very simple. If you loved Cat Quest, you will love this game. Almost nothing has changed. The main thing they added is a dog companion, which is nicely interwoven with the story. It allows you to play local co-op and if you're playing solo you can swap between characters playing either as the cat or the dog an ai takes over the other one and the ai is pretty decent it doesn't die all the time it does some damage if you give it magic spells it uses those spells i was actually kind of impressed with the ai apart from your new dog everything else is pretty much the same for those who don't know cat quest let me explain a little bit what this game is about it's about you a cat who needs to save the kingdom. You can move around the world map which is filled with towns, dungeons, castles, little secrets and people or signposts giving you side quests. You level up to become stronger, you find new weapons and magic in the dungeons, you can equip your protagonists with more and more stuff and using all these things you need to stop two evil rulers from plunging the land into chaos. You know, like cats and dogs usually do. What makes this game so attractive to me is the fact that it is just so fun to play. The combat is simple in nature but can still be very challenging. Side quests are short but usually well written. They're stupid, sure, but once again very enjoyable to do and you really want to complete a few here and there or you will be under leveled for the main content. Exploration is a big thing as well and you will be rewarded for scouring the map. Treasures are all over the place and there's even some world bosses that you can find if you go out of your way to deserted places. The artwork and music are very well implemented too. I think this title has some awesome graphics and it looks super polished. The music really supplements the experience and changes based on various locations. It's usually very cheerful, but from time to time becomes downright gloomy when the end of the world is near. The game includes tons of references to other games done in a very tasteful way, I found. It offers a lot of variety in content and places to visit. There's an entire new island, the Dog Island, with its own dog jokes, populated mainly by dogs and the occasional stray cat, where you'll have tons of new adventures. For only 50 15 euros, this game is definitely worth the money. The campaign lasts around 6 hours and that is 6 hours you'll spend with a smile on your face. Happy that games like these still exist. Thanks for watching, for making it to the end of the video and for the fans of the channel. You can now support the channel by becoming a member on YouTube. For 2 euros a month you'll get some perks for the YouTube live streams like emotes and a sub badge and I will post some more personal and channel related content just for members. Videos about games will be publicly available for everyone to watch however don't worry about that it is just for more personal videos that i want to share with a select few people i will put the link in the description down below if you're interested in advance thanks so much bye bye